Hello guys! Hello guys! And welcome back! For those of you who don't know us, we are Desiree and Fabio and we are currently converting this printer van into a tiny home on wheels. In this week's video, we are going to start with insulating our wheel arches. Yes, and we're also going to start to put the vape barrier underneath the pre-existing floor we had in the van, so on top of the battens. And you guys are going to see us struggling a lot actually to put this pre-existing floor on top of the battens because we tried to screw it so many times and we screwed up we screw up <laughs> absolutely and we don't just want to show and share all the good sides of the van build with you we want to show the reality mm -hmm. and also that van building is sometimes really frustrating and exhausting sometimes many times many times yes. <laughs> so we hope you like this week's video it's not just a rainbow and unicorns yes a sunshine <laughs> so we hope you like this video yeah So guys, in the meantime, Daisy is filling all the gaps with the hammer flex around the hatch wheel. As you can see, I'm actually preparing everything for the, um, for the vape barrier we're gonna use. The, the things we choose is like really fine material, really like fine foil. And this foil is just gonna be another precaution for the condensation. I have another uh, extra layer of isolation as well and also like to protect the wood, the battens we use against the, the, the wood is gonna be on top of them. So there's like the floor we actually had before on the van. And we are gonna use to attach the foil, just like normal staples. You can buy them everywhere in the hardware stores. And uh, we are just gonna use like a normal like electrical nail gun that luckily uh, Daisy's father has and that is gonna help us so much for make like the job quicker as well. So last night, as you probably saw in the videos, we put the floor, the pre-existing floor on the inside the van, on top of the battens, on top of the XPS, and today we're just gonna screw it 
We're just gonna screw in place and into the battens. Into the battens, of course. And for that, we're gonna use just like this. Um, I'm not sure. Three uh, 30 millimeters uh, screw, and they're like just made for wood, so they're gonna be perfect, and uh, they're gonna keep our floor not moving and stay in place. Yes, and I would like to show you now how we know where the battens are because of course you don't see them anymore yeah. before we put the um, floor in and also before we put the vapor barrier uh, i put this measuring tape here and i just wrote down all the distances between the battens so i started here at zero so from zero to four and a half centimeters, there's no button. And then from four and a half to nine and a half, these are five centimeter buttons. And then I just wrote down all the different um, measurements in the front and in the back of the car. And now we hopefully know <laughs> where our buttons mm -hmm. are exactly. I just marked them now for Fabio so he can drill it, pre-drill it and then put the screw in and it's the first try so we gotta know if my measuring uh, system works <laughs> yeah Now the question is, do we need to go with a bigger drill head to make it flush? No. Perfect! Perfect! It's not gonna move anyway. It's gonna be like the furniture on top and stuff like this. Are you okay, babe? Yes. You sure? Yes. Yeah. No, no. No, no. But you know, everything's not coming perfect every time. And it's our first time here. Eh? We definitely need to make like this flat as possible mm -hmm. just to because there is gonna be we're gonna feel it for yeah. sure okay. Okay. I mean it fits definitely better to walk on this one yeah What if we just nail it? Do we go and nail them? Do we go and nail it? No. Just like this, by hand. I mean, we can nice. make a few ones just to see how that feels. Just gonna ask my father if he has some. <sighs> So hard this fun building business. This floor is 
is never gonna go anywhere anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. This is quite good now, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oof. Big, big <laughs> job. Yeah, that was way, way, way more time and brain consuming as we expected. Yeah. Um, we had like some problems. You guys have seen it. We were figuring out mm. how to get the screws tied in the wood. Yeah. It was a mess at the beginning, but now the floor is all in place and screwed and tied and it's not gonna go anywhere anymore. No, absolutely. It's flat, it's um, really good. There are some spots where like the wood there was quite, um, how do you say, like what? There was like actually, uh, there was not really flat but we just put more screw and we use also some nails just to make everything nice and tight. Um, we had some issues with the screw like keep spinning when we were drilling in the, um, yeah. where we were like putting them in the, inside the battens. Yeah, they didn't tighten. No. We, we still don't know why. Yeah. Like in the beginning, I thought I maybe made a mistake with measuring the battens and that we maybe screwed in the XPS instead of the the battens. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't a problem. Like the measurements no. were all right. And we pre-drilled the screws, like the holes for the screws. We tried to not pre-drill it. And like we tried many different things mm, to make everything. them make it work. <laughs> And at the end, the best thing was like to pre-drill it and go really slow with the screw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. As you can probably I saw think, in yeah. uh, in the videos, and uh, yeah, I think like probably it was the wood we chose yeah. that was really soft. So yeah. like as soon as you were drilling, they were not actually um, when you put the screw, they were actually not um, have any grip any bites yeah. and that's probably why like the, they were keep spinning it. Oh, we should have bought yeah. other screws, like really wood screws. These are like universal screws. Yeah. We don't yeah. know. We, we made it know. work at the end. That's right. Like it's, it's good. It's flat. It's not uh, crazy uh, wobbly, wobbly or yeah. stuff like this. So it's good enough. We're going to put the furniture on top. We're going to put like kitchen and bed. So it's not going to go anywhere yeah and maybe one mistake we also did like the last two months let's say we stored this floor mm -hmm. in a garage but with one side open yeah. and it was like hit by the sun by the mm -hmm. rain by the i know everything. like wind and that made the floor like being a little bit bended mm -hmm. and we started like standing up straight and that probably was um, not really clever too. So no. if you store your floor for a few months, mm -hmm. try don't expose it to the weather no. and just try to make it maybe flat somewhere. Yeah, if you got space, because they are huge. Yeah. So like we didn't actually have kind of space to put them flat as we wanted to, but yeah, next time. And you guys don't do the same mistake we're doing. No. Okay? <laughs> So guys, we hope you had fun to watch us struggling, but this actually was the reality and it is the reality of a van build. So I hope we did a good job to share this part with you as well. Yes. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you don't want to miss next week's video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we would love to see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. Let's take it You move on the other side? Mm. Like, because I'm filming as well. And you don't want to show my ass or what? Uh, you already showed your ass many times. Hey. Oh fuck. <laughs> What's inside now? <laughs> That's holding off once again. Oh, sure. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
everything